Hi everyone and welcome to the Free Range Diva. It's cold and flu season and uh, I thought it might you might find it interesting if I shared with you what I call my holistic medicine chest. And actually it is a box like so and this is where I keep this in the linen closet and this is where I keep uh, all of my basically homeopathic and holistic and natural remedies for when I get sick. So if you want to know more about my holistic medicine chest, then just keep watching. So I'll start right off the bat with what I'm missing right now. And I'm out of my elderberry, uh, what it, well, supplement. Um, elderberry comes in syrups and lozenges and all sorts of formulations, but I just get the straight supplement from Gaia Herbs. So I'll put a picture of it or link it below or whatever. And um, yeah, I got to get on that. Need more of my elderberry. Okay, so here's what I do have. We'll start with this. This is olive leaf, 15% uh, oleoropin. This is uh, what I consider to be my natural antibiotic. When I start to get sick, uh, I'll take three of these a day. One of them, one of those dosages, I will open a capsule. If I have a sore throat, I will open up a capsule and put it in warm water and gargle and swallow. I'll do that several times throughout the day. Usually by the first or second time, the pain will go away, but you'll want to continue doing it. Um, and of course, anything that I mentioned today, uh, if after a day or two of trying, you still have the same symptoms or the same issues, see your doctor. In fact, all of these will have a, uh, a disclaimer along those lines, how long you can use them before you know you need to see your doctor. But um, this is from Natural Factors. And uh, yeah, this is my uh, antibiotic, antiviral, whatever. If I'm just like feeling, you know, like I'm coming down with something, I'll grab this first. So recently I had a severe bout of acid reflux and uh, it turned out that my cause was emotional. It wasn't actually, the, you know, too much acid or too little acid. So this didn't really work, but actually uh, that's not fair. This actually did work better than whatever else I was trying. Uh, what, if you do have acid reflux, this is great because uh, it's just a lozenge and it's from Gaia Herbs and it's called Reflux Relief. It would give me, uh, chewing a couple of these would give me maybe an hour's worth of uh, relief from the acid before, you know, it would come back again. Um, and when it came back, it wouldn't, you know, like be worse. For example, when I took uh, the prescription medicine that my doctor gave me, um, it would go down for about 20 minutes. And when it come back, it would, it would be so much worse than, it, than before it ever started. This would give me a little bit of relief and it, you know, it didn't... Uh, it didn't cause that rebound that you can get. And uh, it's a dietary supplement. It has um, several different kinds of herbs in here that uh, are, you know, it's like, it's like the, uh, the, the more natural alternative to Tums, basically. Those are the kinds of active ingredients. And it also has uh, herbs as well to help support those, uh, you know, like the calcium, whatever it is that's in Tums, that's also in here. It's calcium something. Carbonate. Calcium carbonate. And herbs. So this is again from Gaia Herbs and it's their reflux relief. And again, like I said, my situation was being caused by uh, anxiety. So once that was addressed, then the acid reflux went away and hasn't come back. For sore throats, this is the uh, Lemon Zinc Herbal Lozenge from Zand. Uh, Zand. This one is the only variety. They have several different flavors of this lozenge but, lozenge, but this is the only one that doesn't contain corn or corn derivative. And it's basically brown rice syrup, lemon, menthol, eucalyptus, you know, lots of herbs, um, hop, sage rather, hyssop a licorice root, a whole bunch of herbs that's designed to soothe the throat. So these are my cough drop and throat lozenge in one. And then for um, those muscle, oh no, that's not what I want. Where are you? Let me get it. I got it. Okay, so for muscle pain, 
soreness and stiffness. This is Tiger Balm. This has been around forever, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with it. It's just got a lot of very pungent herbs in it. Whew. <laughs> so uh, if you have muscle soreness, stiffness, I recently had sore muscles, which is why this was not in there. It was in my bathroom, but uh, um, this is really good for um, that sort of thing that uh, especially this will draw heat to the area. And along those same lines, if um, you don't want heat, but you've got muscle pain, stiffness, joint swelling, um, swelling from injuries and bruising. This is the Arnicare cream. Arnica is the active ingredient and it's known uh, to be very healing for bruises, especially, um, but in addition for pain relief, especially muscle and joint pain. So um, this, unlike the Tiger Balm, doesn't draw heat. It's just, it just goes on. It's kind of a little bit cooling. And uh, this is a homeopathic remedy that um, has been around and is really, really popular. It's been around forever and it really does work uh, when I don't want, you know, if I've got uh, joints or something that I don't want heat applied to, then uh, this is what I use and it's great. So I think everything else in here is homeopathic. So before I delve into those, uh, let me just say a word. I, oh my God, maybe 10, 12 years ago, attended a seminar by a homeopathic physician. Uh, she was German, this uh, German woman, and she in detail explained what homeopathy is, how it works, and I, it all went right over my head. <laughs> um, all I can, so I don't know a lot about how homeopathic remedies actually work. Um, other than to say that it's based on the principles of like heals like. And uh, all of these have specific instructions on how to take them. And I found that it varies from remedy to remedy. And for best results, you have to follow those instructions to the letter. So let's start off with um, this one. I'm sure you've seen, you've heard of it. Uh, if you haven't tried it, this is the Ocelococcinum. This is for flu. I've seen, I think I actually picked this up in CVS. This is available pretty much everywhere now. Um, it, you, as soon as you start, you start to feel symptoms. That's the other thing about homeopathics you take the remedy according to the symptoms that you're having. So as soon as you start to feel achy, chills, um, you know, like you've got a fever coming on or flu coming on, grab this and take it according to how they tell you to take them. This comes in little pellets, if you can see that. And so um, they will usually, uh, you know, these kinds of things you put in your mouth and just let them dissolve in your mouth. And um, this is a preparation, so it has several different homeopathic remedies in it. And I, you know, so it's, it's definitely a one and done as opposed to trying getting each one of these uh, remedies on your own. Just pick up something like this. And in the same vein, Sinusalia, this is for sinus issues, um, you know, during that time of year when you have runny nose, clogged sinuses, sinus headache, this is the remedy uh, of choice. This is, um, it, it works on congest sinus congestion, pain, sinus pressure, and sinus headache. And again, this comes in, this comes in those little pellets or um, you can get it in chew tabs, which is what I have, just because it's just easier for me to take, take it that way. And again, you would take this according to um, the package directions. If you have, well, I was actually introduced, my first time using any of the homeopathic remedies was uh, when my dog, uh, Duffy, who you all probably remember, uh, had his teeth cleaned and his vet, who was a holistic veterinarian, gave him a tincture of something called Tramil. It was made by a company called Heal and Heal was bought out by this particular company and they renamed that Tramil product Tea Relief. It worked so great with him, I mean, he was literally eating his crunchy cookies within a couple of hours of having had the dental surgery done, the, you know, the dental, dental cleaning done. So I decided to try it. And this is for pain relief. 
This can work on anything from headache to soreness. Um, they have this variety, which is for general pain relief. They also have a, one that comes in a green cap that is specifically for arthritic and joint pain, so it's a little bit stronger than this one. I've used both. They both work really well. And they're, um, the nice thing about homeopathics is uh, they don't, they shouldn't um, interact with any medication that you are taking. Now, of course, you'll want to double check that with your doctor, but um, they are generally regarded as safe. And it's certainly, you know, again, they'll say on here, if you don't get relief within X amount of days, discontinue use and see your physician. So you know exactly how to take it, how long to take it. And this is basically stuff that's sold over the counter. So rather than I can't use anything like Alka-Seltzer, you know, cold relief or anything like that, uh, even if I wanted to, because um, all of those sorts of, and, you know, over-the-counter flu remedies and allergy remedies and things like that have corn in them, which is why I turned to homeopathics in the first place, because they are corn-free. Okay, here we have Chestol, another uh, cough syrup, basically. This has got honey and um, very soothing ingredients, works really well. You can see that I've <laughs> I don't have much of this left, so, um, but this is so good when you have those chest colds that, you know, or the residual, like after I've had a cold or something, I will usually develop a cough um, either on the heels of it or shortly thereafter, and it will be like those dry coughs that, you know, hang around forever, and this is really good for breaking up a lot of that dry cough, and, you know, it's better than Robitussin, at least for me anyway, it works better than Robitussin. <laughs> And then the last of my preparations, this is calendula, and this is first aid. So this is for skin irritations, razor burns, insect bites, rashes. I have put this on anything weird on my skin, I will use uh, the calendula. And this uh, has works really, really well. At some point, I'm going to uh, talk about... <laughs> what uh, when I got shingles in uh, the last fall when I was like afflicted with everything um, and I didn't realize it at first and I was using this on the rash and it and the rash did heal so uh, yeah <laughs> not to say that if you have shingles use this but um, it just so happened that I didn't realize what I had and this took care of it so there you go uh, okay the last few things I have are homeopathics and they are uh, specific remedies for different things. So I'm not going to spend too much time on these. Um, this one is histaminum. This is for allergies. This one, um, I forgot what this one's for. <laughs> what is this one for? Oh, that's more histaminum. Okay, you need to see two of those. I've forgotten why I got this. But anyway, uh, the point is, is that if you go to, you know, a, a health food store or someplace that sells homeopathics, you might see something like this. And uh, sometimes they'll have, they'll have a number, a number six, a number 30. They mean, different, they mean different things as far as strength and application. And someone who knows a lot more about homeopathics than I do uh, can probably explain to you what the difference is. I know that one number is for acute symptoms. So let's say you've got a uh, headache, that's, that's acute, or you've, you know, you've got um, a sore throat from a cold or something. Uh, th that, then that particular number would be the one that you would use. And the other number is for more chronic issues. So sinus congestion, for example, something that's ongoing. And um, that's all I know. So uh, if you do know more about that than me as far as experience, then please go ahead, because I know I have some really smart, smart viewers, uh, then just you know, put a note in the comments and I'll pin it, and that way we can all learn from each other. So that's it. That is my holistic medicine chest. These are the things that I rely on to get me through cold and flu season, or just you know those times when you just don't feel yourself. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, of course, uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this because there's more coming. And that way, uh, also, if you... 
then you won't miss my next video as well. So thank you so much for watching today. Until I see you again, I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves, and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye!